that? A mighty roar like that could only come from the legendary Yeti. <gasps> they say he lives at the top of the tallest glacier. Only a few toys have ever seen him outside his cave. <gasps> Maybe we should see if he's okay. But, Doc, what if he's really grumpy, and he has sharp, pointy teeth, and he scares snowmen? <gasps> it's our duty to help every toy in need, including snow monsters. Right Where right I go. So... <laughs> <laughs> huh, I thought wolves were as brave as dragons. If they're running away from the roars, maybe we should, too. A roar that loud could be a cry for help. We better check to be sure. Those must be Yeti prints. Oh. I don't speak Yeti, but I know a toy in trouble when I hear one. I'm going in. Hello, Mr. Yeti? <laughs> Are you okay? We heard your roars from downhill. <laughs> I'm sorry if I scared you with my roar, but I have an ouchie. My widow claw broke. Looks like a case of broken claw atosis. I can help with that. Hallie, haste, please. Hold still. There you go. And good as new. I feel better. So much better. Thank you, Doc. Now I can finish finger painting. Finger painting? Oh, yeah. I love decorating my cave with pretty pictures. Ah, you are one artistic <laughs> yeti. Want to paint with me? Oh, oh, sure I <laughs> Chip off the old block. <sighs> it's cold enough out here to freeze an ice pop. Did someone say ice pops? Stuffy, you made these? Um, actually, I dropped some of Doc's tongue depressors into cups of juice by accident, and next thing I knew, ice pops. <laughs> the Arctic is kind of like nature's freezer, and repurposing tongue depressors for the sticks works great. Read what now? Repurpose it. It's when you take something that's made to do one thing and use it for something else. Doc, come quick! It's Pippa. She doesn't know how to swim. If we don't help her, she'll drift out to sea. Stand! Well, that didn't go well. Don't worry, Doc. I got this. I can't get back! Warwick! <gasps> I did it. I really did it! That was amazing! Now hurry and get that baby bear back to shore. Right. <laughs> didn't really think that far ahead. Now they're both floating away. Oh, Stuffy, why didn't you take anything with you? Well, I did. I took this. <gasps> That's it, Stuffy. You do have what you need to get back. You just have to repurpose it. Huh? Your skis. You can repurpose your skis and use them as oars to row back to shore. Of course. What do you say, Pippa? Ugh. You could have just said yes. And go! And go! It's working! Yay! Oh. Great job, Stuffy. <laughs> Ugh! Yuck again! I mean, you're welcome. No! No, really! Ugh. It's okay! I... <laughs> Lip of the iceberg! Wow, there's nothing like whale watching in Icicle Bay. Go, Trixie! Go! Just wait till you see her tricks. She's been working so hard on them. I can't do them by myself yet, but I'm getting better. My remote helps guide me. Who wants to help Trixie practice? <laughs> <laughs> we'll take turns. Hey! Where'd she go? Hmm. Trixie! <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's my super diving twist. Oh, no. Your turn, Chili. Oh, 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 oh. oh no! I'm sorry, Trixie. I was just so excited. 
How am I going to get home to the ocean? Scarlet always uses my remote to help me do tricks to get around all these icebergs. We'll help you find your way, Trixie. I promise. We sure will. Like you. What if you follow our boat? We can lead you around the icebergs. That's a fantastic idea. It's working! She's getting through! <sighs> what happened, Sugar? It looks like pretty clear sailing to me. Some of these icebergs are much bigger than they look from up here. I'm never gonna get home. That's one of your tricks! And we didn't even use your remote. That's right. I bet you're ready to do tricks on your own. I guess it's worth a shot. for your first sled rides? Let's sure. Go. Yes. No, I'm not. Hey, uh, Doc, can I ride with you? Sure, come on. Sorry, Chili. Gigi loves to bury things. The dogs have their own personalities and accessories to match. Usually she likes to bury this. Now this pup will do anything for a treat. Hop on one leg, boy. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, this is hard. <laughs> Glacier here loves to play. Watch! Glacier is more playful than a porcupine on a pogo stick. But isn't sledding supposed to be serious business? It can be work and fun, Hallie. I don't know, Doc. Maybe I should get another sled. Glacier! Oh, he's not stopping! Look! They're heading for an area of unstable snow. If we don't stop Glacier, it could collapse under them. Then let's go, team. Let's stop this and get to work! Let's work out of fun! Ah, I can't see! Doc, help! That's just the light shining through the icicles, Chili. I have an idea. Try to grab one of those icicles. If you say so, Doc! If we can make a spot of light in the snow like Glacier's favorite toy, maybe he'll stop and play with it. Woo! Hallie, watch out for the unstable snow! Oh, no! Snow! Now, Chili! You did it, Chili! <laughs> oh! Sorry, Hallie. You can choose a different sled dog if you like. No, thanks. Oh, Doc was right. <laughs> sled dogs can be work and fun. Come on, Glacier. Come on, boy! I love your juggling act, guys. It'll be great for the Toy Arctic Talent Show. Thanks, Doc. So, hey! Sorry! Now all we need is one more act for the show. Something musical. Just like oh, that. La, 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 la. That sounded amazing. What's your name? Um, Willie? We just wanted to ask if you'd like to be in the Toy Arctic Talent Show. I can't. If I have to open my mouth and sing in front of a big crowd of toys, they'll see my wobbly tusk. It's embarrassing. That's not so embarrassing. How would you like to have tiny wings that you can't even use to fly? Or a nose that looks like a carrot? It's the things that make us different that make us special. I don't like feeling different from everyone else. Willie, I'm Doc McStuffins. I help broken toys. Would you like me to take a look at your tusk? Looks like a case of Tuscalusitosis. I should be able to tighten it for you. There. Good as new. No more wobble. La, 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 la. Oh, my voice. That beautiful chimey sound you used to make must have been your tusk wobbling. Now that it doesn't wobble, your voice changed. Wait, you mean my voice was special because of my wobbly tusk? I don't want my voice to change. Okay, open wide again. There, try it now. La 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 la. La 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 oh. la. Oh. 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 Thanks for everything. 
I've never been happier to have a wobbly tusk. Who knew being different could also be so great? Aurora Fairy Alice. <laughs> I promise this is going to be the most amazing thing you've ever seen. What are these bears called again? The Aurora Berry Alice. They're blue in the dark bears that can light up the whole night sky. They're also supposed to be harder to find than a penguin in a tuxedo store. Are you sure about this, Stuffy? Sure, I'm sure. Uh, mostly. Oh, bears! Yes! <gasps> Let's go! Wait a second. These are bears, but they aren't glowing. I'm sure they're around here somewhere, Stuffy. We'll find them. What? <gasps> Wait, over there! Something's definitely glowing. It must be the bears! But we'll never catch up to them! No, oh, if only we had a sled or something! Great idea! One sled coming up! <laughs> Everyone, stop the sled! <laughs> Phew! Nice save! You have to be careful out here at night. Maybe you should head back. It's gonna be a cold one. I'll see you later at the village. Mush, Blanco! Bye, Sarah. I hate to say it, Stuffy, but maybe we should turn around for tonight. We can always try again another day. You're right. Glow in the dark bears. It was just another silly dragon dream. <laughs> Wait. Oh, you are the Aurora Berry Alice. We sure are. But you weren't glowy before. Oh, we only light up when we shake. See? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. I knew you'd do it, Stuffy. Oh, that was nothing. You should see what happens when we dance. Hit it, bears. <laughs> oh, no. Snowboard girl. Hi, Stuffy. How's snowboarding going with Snowboard Girl? We have an emergency! Come on, team! Snowboard Girl went into her super spin move, but then she wiped out. Now she can't move! We gotta help her! We better snowboard down there and see what's wrong. Snowboard Girl, are you all right? I'm kind of bummed, Doc. I was excited to snowboard with Stuffy, but... No, my legs won't bend. Your legs are iced over. We need to get you back to HQ right away. You're really cold. Can you feel that? I don't get it. This never happens. Maybe it's because you were snowboarding in leggings. No way the problem's with my lucky leggings. I always wear them under my snowsuit. Except this time I ditched my snowsuit since I was trying to hit a backside double make twist for the first time. It was kind of bulky to spin in. That explains it. You have a case of frosty legatosis. It happens when toys don't dress warmly for cold temperatures. <sighs> that doesn't sound good. We're going to do everything we can. We need blankets, lots of them. And let's bring her over by the stove. Okay. You're getting warmer, but we need something more to finish the job. I know. What about a super duper warm and beautiful group cuddle? Shared body warmth. Great idea, Lammy. Oh. <laughs> Hey, it's working! Snowboard girl, I'm happy to report you're all thawed out. Yeah! Oh, yeah! Brad! <laughs> Come on, Stuffy! Aren't you forgetting something? Right. Thanks, Doc! And one more thing. Us! Mumbo! Oh, has anybody seen Mumbo? You mean the gigantic baby mammoth? Yeah, I can't find him. And today's the polar night when the moon is extra big and bright. I don't want Mumbo to miss it. Don't worry, we'll find him. We were supposed to meet here this morning to play tag. It's Mumbo's favorite game, but... <laughs> Wait a minute. These look like Mumbo's prints. Maybe he was here. We better follow those tracks. Come on, Mumbo. It's polar night, remember? And we don't want to miss the noon moon. <laughs> Mumbo, what's going on? I'd better make sure nothing's wrong. I 
fine, Mumbo. Hmm. No tangles, tears, or anything broken. You're totally ready to see the new moon. <gasps> no, every time someone says new moon, Mumbo starts to shiver. <gasps> I just said it again. <laughs> they say the moon is super big and bright. He must be afraid of it. I guess we forgot this is Mumbo's first time seeing it, too. No, no, no. Please. New things can sound scary at first, but they don't have to be. When you're with your friends, they can even be fun. So maybe if Mumbo's having fun, he won't be scared. How about we play that game of tag you two were supposed to be playing? Good idea, Doc. Tag, you're it, Mumbo. You gotta catch me. <laughs> Here I come. <laughs> Here <I> come. <laughs> Mumbo, look up. New moon. Happy Polar Night. Happy oh. Brownie Day. See, Mumbo, you don't have to be scared of new things, especially when you're with your friends. Well. <sighs> Overboard like that. Why not? Help! Tevin's caught in the net! That's why. Throwing stuff in the sea can hurt toy marine life. It's gonna be okay. We're going to pull you up onto the deck so we can get you out of this. Here's some scissors, Doc. Thanks, Hallie. Try to hold still. Hold still? Okay. This is me holding still. <laughs> this is too risky. If he doesn't stop moving, I could accidentally pop him with the scissors. We need to calm him down. We'll hum a lullaby, and then you can go to sleep. Da -da -dum, da -da 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 -dum. So sleepy. <sighs> that was so fun! Let's play another game! Well, that didn't work. Let's try something else to calm him down. Everyone, we're going to play a game called Freeze Dance. The rules are simple. You dance to the music, and when the music stops, you freeze. I've never played this game before. Let's do it. On your mark, get set, dance. Got it. OK. Hey, I'm free. Freedom flip. Thanks, everyone. I promise never to litter ever again. And if there's any way I can make it up to you, buddy, just ask. Okay, let's dance! <laughs> <laughs> On thin ice. You're so good, Lammy. Oh, I thank you, Doc. Stuffy passes to Howie. Howie rounds the goal and sets up Stuffy. Stuffy shoots! Oh, what a save! You sure you've never done this before, Jelly? Hockey? No. Ducking? Yes. Watch this. Wow, she looks like a snowflake. She looks like a snow angel. She looks like a furry pinwheel. Uh-oh, there's a crack in the ice. Everyone off, right away. Coming, Doc. I just need to finish up this routine with my signature move, the Lammy Loop. Ah! Lammy, are you OK? Yeah. Don't move. If the ice cracks anymore, you'll fall into the freezing cold water. Just hold still. Oh, she can't stand still in the cold forever. I think I have an idea. Stuffy, bring me the hockey sticks. Hallie, grab some tape from my bag. Oh, no! It's no use, Doc! Why didn't I listen to you and get off the ice? I don't want any of you to fall in. I think there's something else we can try. All we need is for someone to lower themselves down and grab Lammy. Sounds like a job for a daring ice dragon. Careful, Stuffy. Aren't I always? Oh, no. no! Don't answer that. Oh, no! Stuffy, try using your scarf. Got it. Ah! You did it. I am so sorry. I can't believe I put you all in harm's way for one silly ice skating trick. It's all right, Lammy. But promise me that from now on, any time there's a crack in a frozen pond, you'll get off right away. 
Absolutely, Doc. I would pinky promise if I had pinkies. So much for playing ice hockey. Who needs ice? We can play snow hockey. And this time, someone else can be the goalie. Shall we round the goal? The dog is in, and she'll fix you up. If you're a toy, then you're in luck. It's okay.